the government clearly knew that the RCMP was in violation of that ceasefire. And this guy, Kimball, gave them the, uh, the green light and the testimony, and the testimonies right here was giving them the green light to shoot, to kill, knowing that they were violating their own ceasefire agreements with the occupants inside the camp. I wanted to talk about the red truck because we do have the video, like you said earlier, um, this is footage that actually, I guess the RCMP, or, yeah, RCMP uh, were footage. taking themselves and it's been uh, presented in court. So what do we see uh, when we're looking at this, um, this clip? I'll, I'll address that really quickly. Yeah. What we hear, first of all, let's go back to the standoff last year. What we hear, we hear the RCMP telling the public that of the incident of the red truck. And what they told us in the beginning, the official press report was, uh, Peter Montague stated very clearly that two occupants went out with a red truck outside of the perimeters of the ceasefire agreement, went, well, they were fully armed, that they were spotted as being fully armed with guns. They would travel down the road. They would had to use a disabling device to stop the machine so that they could arrest them. But when the occupants were stopped by the disabling device, they jumped out the car, they grabbed AK-47s, and they started shooting at the police. Dosanj, the attorney general of this province, without investigating the incident, took that report and said that there were three occupants on a press, re press release and said there were three occupants that jumped out the car and started firing on the police. That was the justification for 20,000 rounds of bullets that were fired strictly by the RCMP.